Will it be your first Christmas here in the UK? If it is, then here are five things that you need to know. Hey guys, my name is Jake and I've been in the UK for nine years now, but I still remember how disappointing my first Christmas was here in the UK back in 2015. As a nurse, you get to choose between working during Christmas or during the new year. At that time, I chose to be off work during Christmas because I wanted to go to church and go to the mall and eat a lovely Christmas lunch just like how we did it back in the Philippines with my mom. So I was up by 8 o'clock in the morning to join the 9 a.m. mass but when I went out of the hospital accommodation where I used to stay, I saw that the church was closed, the roads were empty, and I had nowhere to eat a lovely Christmas lunch. So what happened was I ended up going back home and I ate the leftover spaghetti from the previous night. In this video, I will tell you things that I've learned to help you make the most out of your first Christmas here in the UK. So on Christmas Day itself, all major establishments are closed. That includes all supermarkets, pharmacies, most churches, malls, and even some off-license stores. On the 24th of December, which is Christmas Eve, everything closes earlier than usual. For example, supermarkets can close between 4 to 5 p.m. instead of their usual 9 to 10 p.m. closure. If you're thinking of doing some Christmas shopping, don't wait until the 24th because on that day, it will be absolutely packed with people doing their last minute Christmas shopping. If you tend to be sickly during the Christmas period, make sure that you have prepared your medications, your favorite soup, and for us Asians, Tiger Balm and other liniments. It will be a similar scenario in terms of closure for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day itself. There is no public transport on Christmas Day. Rails, overground trains, tubes, buses, nada. If you get lucky, you might find the odd Uber wanting to earn some extra money on the day, but that is very rare, especially if you're within the outskirts of London and beyond. For those of us who need to work during Christmas Day, for example, doctors, nurses, healthcare assistants, the hospital or the care home usually provides a cab to collect you from your house on that day. And this is totally free of charge. Now, this is usually booked up to two months before Christmas in order for them to arrange for about four or five people to be picked up along the way to the hospital. If you haven't booked this yet or have completely ignored the previous email sent to you because you thought that you can just get into the hospital on Christmas Day, then you need to notify your manager immediately. Otherwise, you might get stranded on the day you won't be able to get to work or if you do get to work, you won't be able to get home. Obviously, if you have a car, then enjoy because this will be a mostly empty road, so that will be a very good drive. Now let's go to a more positive one. It is only during this time of the year that you will see a significant drop in the prices of the vegetables that the British public use for their vegetable rolls that they will serve on Christmas. This usually includes your potatoes, carrots, parsnips, Brussels sprouts, and sweet. From their usual price of one to two pounds per pack, they drop to under 20p the week before Christmas. I still remember how surprised I was back in 2015 when I went to Asta and saw that a pack of uh, carrots, a pack of potatoes, and the Brussels sprouts was actually 5p, but obviously prices have gone up since then, so it is now just under 20p. Imagine 5p, that's like 3 pesos for a big pack of vegetables. Like, mind blown. So you know what I did? I bought quite a few and obviously I froze them and used them in the future. Also, food items that are meant to expire on the 25th itself will be significantly reduced on Christmas Eve. There you go, money saved. Now how about non-food items? On Christmas Eve, most supermarkets and shops slash 75% off their Christmas themed food products and gifts especially in the last few hours before closing. But don't worry if you can't go on Christmas Eve because there is another big sale day, which is Boxing Day, which usually falls on the 26th, but can be adjusted to the 27th if Boxing Day falls on a Sunday. Boxing Day sales are both online and in-store, and there are very good discounts to watch out for. If you thought that November was cold, 
then get ready because December is when proper winter starts in the UK. It will only get colder and colder all the way through to February. And if you are from a warm and tropical country just like the Philippines, then this will be a very challenging season for you. This is also the time when a lot of storms pass through the UK. So at the time of this recording, Storm Bert has just finished and there is a new storm coming tomorrow called Storm Darak. So you need to make sure that you've got your thermal undercoats and your waterproof shoes and coats when you go out. Don't forget your bonnet, scarves, and your gloves as well because they keep the heat in your body and are really, really helpful. I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but it does get darker a lot earlier, between 3 to 4 p.m. So if you need to walk alone on your way home, it would be a good idea to have a portable or handy flashlight, or they call it torch here in the UK, so that you can see where you're going and really, you know, make yourself safe. One little tip that I can give you, which I do myself, is whenever I'm traveling, I make a tea or coffee in a thermal mug and I bring that along with me and I take a few sips of hot drink whenever I start to feel a bit cold. So that's one thing you could also do. Now lastly, I know we all want to save some money on electricity, so you know what? When you are at home, dress in layers and there is no shame at all in even wearing the proper thick jacket inside the house. That's perfectly fine, especially if your heating is scheduled only at certain times of the day. For the British people, Christmas is a family celebration. It is very rare that you will get an invitation especially if you are not part of the family. For international workers like us, it can get quite lonely, especially if you are used to big family celebrations back home. And that is why most international nurses choose to work on Christmas and take the day off during New Year's Day. If you are religious, check your local church for their schedule as not all of them will be open on Christmas Day. Most would have a Christmas Eve mass and they will close on the Christmas Day itself. If you need a bit of Christmas cheer, there are a lot of things that you can do in the UK. You can go ice skating in Alexandra Palace, Somerset House, um, Canary Wharf, and many more places. Just Google ice skating near me and you are sure to find one venue near you to do that. There is, of course, the ever-present Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park, which I think is a money bait and all the food there is just so expensive. If you've never been there, then you can give it a try and see if you like it. But personally, I wouldn't go back unless I was with people who have never been there. You can also wander around the different Christmas markets all over the UK. There's loads in London, for example, in Trafalgar Square, Covent Garden. Uh, we also have a separate Christmas market inside Winter Wonderland. And there's also one in South Bank. There's loads of Christmas markets in London. You can go with some of your friends and, you know, pick some gifts, try some mulled wine, which actually tastes good. And whilst you're in central London, you can then walk towards Oxford Street or Piccadilly Circus or even Seven Dials and appreciate and enjoy the amazing Christmas lights display. Not to mention the Christmas bargains you might find in the different shops in these areas. But just be careful of phone thieves and pickpockets. There's loads in London. Perhaps one last thing which I would recommend is to join your work Christmas party or if you have a circle of friends here in the UK, then it's a very good idea to organize your own Christmas party to lessen that feeling of loneliness, have that familiarity and just enjoy each other's company uh, without thinking of work or any other problems and you know just have a laugh and eat good food if you've got more tips and advice for this season you can help others by writing them down in the comment section if you found this video helpful please show some love by giving it a like and if you want more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video i wish you all a meaningful and happy christmas season until next time Take care. Bye.